Here's the exciting second part of the IV moving plots lab. Here's what you need to know, okay? You have already um, rolled a cart down an inclined plane, okay? And we'll probably set up one of those or two of those and get a whole lot of tapes off of them so we can do them quick, um, quickly. Sorry about that, okay? Um, what you'll need for this part is you'll need a couple meter sticks, okay? Because your tape, this tape I've got is not longer than... This tape is not longer than uh, a meter, but the tape that you get will be longer than a meter. So you're going to need to take your, your meter sticks and uh, put them like this. Okay, you're going to put them end to end and tape them down and tape the tape alongside them. Okay, don't, you don't need to analyze a tape longer than two meters, but it does need to be between one and two meters. Okay, I can do this analysis though with just a single meter stick that is... Uh, because this is a shorter tape, right? just for the purpose of the example. All right, so what you want to do is you want to take that tape. You want to take the, um, the tape that's got your marks on it, right? Where is it? Is this the one? This is the one. Okay. And what you're going to do is you're going to look at that thing. And if you look at it really closely, okay, if you look at it really closely, you can see the individual dots. Each dot is 1 60th of a second apart. Okay, let's see if it'll focus. Will it focus if I put my hand in there? I don't know, a little wider. There we go. Okay, so see those little dots right like, like that? Okay, what you're going to do is you're going you're gonna to mark where you think the first dot is. Okay, um, be nice to yourself because obviously I'm not going to count all those little dots right there. So I'm going to pick this dot. That'll be my first dot. Okay, and what you want to do is you want to count six dots after that. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Put a line by it. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. The reason why you do every six dot, and it says circle the dots. I like to make marks like that. The reason why you do every six dots is because if you've got 60 dots per second, right? If it's 60 dots per second, oh, oh you can't see that, right? Okay, uh, 6 sixtieths, okay, you can't see that either. 6 sixtieth is a tenth of a second, okay? So the dots that we're looking at here are actually a tenth of a second apart. That's really easy to type into Excel, okay? So let's look back at our tape there, right? Let's keep counting sixes. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Notice I'm not covering up the, um, the dots themselves. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm just making a mark that indicates which one is the sixth the dot. One, two, three, four, five, six. And you're going to do this, you're going to do a lot of these things. One, two. Um, do them, double check them, um, double check them before you've done like all two meters of it because it's really sad to miss something on this end of the tape and then have to back up like that. Okay, now the next thing you're going to do, let's widen out here a little bit. Okay, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to take that tape and you're going to tape it down next to the meter stick like this. And you want your first dot to be at zero on the meter stick. Okay, let's see if we can see that. Okay. So let's zoom in on that. Let's just see what that looks like, okay? Okay. I'll move that over so we can see it, right? So see the beginning of the meter stick? See that first dot? Okay. You want those guys to line up. Now, don't count on the tape sitting still and the meter stick sitting still, okay? You'll go crazy if this thing moves halfway through. So take a piece of tape, tape that thing down, and then while you're at it, tape your meter stick down as well, okay? Tape the meter stick. If you don't tape the meter stick and the meter stick moves, you're going to have a giant ugly divot in your, gra in your graph, okay? Now notice that these marks fall on exactly spots on the, on the tape. That's what I'm going to write down. That's the next thing I'm going to write down. I'm going to zoom out so you might not see that, right? But this mark here falls at like 1.2. This mark here falls at like 2.2. This one's like 3.4 or something like that, okay? That's what I'm writing down. So when you see me writing down numbers, that'll be it, okay? So let's widen out here a little bit. All right. So you want a piece of paper. On your paper, you're going to make a data table, 
I'll zoom in a little bit. That's a little, that's, that's really wide. Okay. You're going to make a data table, and the data table is going to be, I'll turn the paper over there for fun. All right, you're going to go um, time in seconds, right? Okay, the next column will be position in centimeters, right? Okay, and then time in seconds is easy, right? Start with zero seconds, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0.5, and so on like that, right? And then the position, we're just going to read off of this thing, right? So I'm reading where that thing is. That's 1.1, 1 .1, or zero is zero, right? Because that's zero. Right, and then I'm going to go find this guy. That's 1.1. This looks like, to me, it looks like 2.2, actually. And you really want to kind of get like this <laughs> to see it. Uh, I'm just keeping my head out of the picture here because it's, it's not a very good looking head. All right, uh, that is, to me, that looks like 3.3. All right, this looks like uh, 4, actually, that's like 5.0 spot on. Okay, now I'm looking at this dot here. That looks like 7.2. Okay, 0 0.6, 0 0.7, 0 0.8. All of these things are just numbers, right? Okay, 7.2. The next one looks to me to be like, uh, uh, let's see. I wonder if I can get that on the camera. If I can move it that way. All right, um, 7.2. This guy looks to be about 10.2-ish, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, you're going to write these down. You do not need to. It says in the in the in the um, the lab handout. Oh, what's the next one? Thirteen point four. It says in the lab handout seventeen point three. This should go pretty quickly. It says in the lab handout to then do a bunch of subtracting and, and stuff like that. You're going to do that with a spreadsheet. So don't do anything with this. This is what you want. Okay. If you have uh, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5, which is all of these marks, right? That's the time that they occurred and you've measured where they fall on the meter stick, right? Um, you're all set. You're ready for the next video, which shows you how to do the graphs, how to do the um, tangent lines, things like that, okay? So um, I'll stop there.